सदाशिव सरंभां शंकराचार्य मध्यम अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरां ओ उद्धव गीता चैप्टर ट्वेंटी टू पेज थ्री हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी सेवन वर्स नंबर एटीन भूर्य भक्तोपहृत न मे तोषा कलते गंधोधूप सुमन सह दीपोन्नाद्यम चिंपुन वेन बर एक मुमुक्षु और साधका is not able to receive the highest teaching of vedanta then shastra recommend the continuation of saguna ishvara upasana just as we are seeing in vichara sagara for a madhyama adhikari their nirguna brahma upasana sadhana is given because he completed already his study but whenever a person is not able to come to binary format that means still he remains in triangular format that is triangular means triad triad means three jeevatma i the individual and paramatma the total ishvara he has to protect me save me from this universe because this universe giving me lot of dukha more than sukha therefore that triangular format jeeva bhava ishvara bhava jagat stand the three as it is for that person krishna paramatma uddhava himself asked because it is very difficult this teaching advaita vedanta is not bahu janma punyena this vasana samskara comes advaita vasana but all people cannot claim or own up easily to get that clarity more and more continue your puja worship the lord lord krishna prescribing agama shastra puja paddhati especially vaishnava agama shastra because lord krishna is vishnu avatar therefore he has to talk about his party hmm? a um, political member cannot talk about the other party praise other party he has to praise his own party naturally like that lord krishna also giving vaishnava agama puja paddhati we know there are um, agamas agama shastra veda also is called agama there is another meaning for that so here agama means puja paddhati they are also have their own philosophy darshanam and puja paddhati vaishnava agama connected to vishnu shaiva agama connected to shiva shakta agama connected to shakti ganapatya connected to ganesha these are all we are going to see in 7th chapter at the end so these are all paddhatis given in um, uddhava gita by lord krishna here how one should worship ishvara the bhagavan while talking about this upasana we accept the puja paddhati of vaishnava agama arshaiva agama arshakta agama 
we have no any objection in puja paddhati acceptance agama puja vidhanam is not against to vedanta vedanta accept the puja paddhati of agama shastras but vedanta never accept the darshanam or philosophy of these agama shastras we accept only the puja paddhati fine but never take their uh, darshanam or philosophy darshanam means philosophy why we should not take what is the difference between vedanta darshanam and other uh, vaishnava agama darshanams the difference is uh, vaishnava agama shaiva agama and shakta agama especially vaishnava shaiva agamas they talk about the jiva atma paramatma bheda they never accept vaishnava agama and shaiva agama never accept jiva atma paramatma aikyam in their philosophy in their theory after death also person can go to vaikuntha or kailasa cannot merge with the lord he can sit near the lord as a separate jeevatma only that means even after death also even after going to vaikuntha also according to them jeevatma cannot be identical with paramatma this is their opinion as upanishad says mundakopanishad all this um, um, jeevas are merging with paramatma after knowledge upanishad also tells that there is no any uh, doubt in that very clearly upanishad says paramam samyam upaiti dhiraha upanishad says therefore these people people means agama shastra siddhanta they never accept aikyam therefore they are not acceptable to vedanta therefore 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 means what we don't accept their philosophy we accept their puja paddhati what about shakta agama shaktagama shri chakra upasana um, that uh, shri vidya upasana he is uh, talking about uh, aham ityeva vibhavaye bhavani in lalita sahasranama dhyana shloka aham ityeva vibhavaye then bhavani o oh mother i and you are one and the same that uh, philosophy is acceptable for us that is why in um, shankaracharya peetham sandal shringeri kanchi dwaraka puri other places they take uh, shri vidya upasana because their puja paddhati is also acceptable their philosophy also that means shakta agama philosophy is acceptable why there in shakta agama shakta agama means who worship shakti devi they are called shakta shaktas who follow shakta agama they accept this jeevatma paramatma aikyam but it is not compulsory for vedantic student that uh, upasana is not compulsory it is optional if you want to take up you can take up but there are people who does shri vidya upasana shri chakra mandal they put and they do lot of meru and puja kunkumarchana like that they do anyhow now you have understood vaishnava agama shaiva agama siddhanta darshanam difference between vedanta and their darshan puja paddhati is acceptable anyhow puja paddhati only we are talking now 
what krishna is telling here vaishnavagama puja paddhati he is talking generally you if you see all rules and regulations are compulsory when you do puja all rules and regulations that means vidhi nishedha are compulsory when when nidhi vidhi nishedha are compulsory na when you are doing sakam puja expecting some materialistic benefits if you are doing puja rules and regulations are must if you don't follow the rules and regulations you will get a, um, counter results and you will not get the result what you want because you are doing sakama puja when you do nishkama puja on the other hand no rules are required regulations are required bhagwan accept patram pushpam phalam toyam whatever you offer to bhagwan he will take like that bhakta kannappa bhagwan himself appeared in front of him lord shiva why in shabari in front of shivari rama appeared why in because nishkama bhakti nishkama puja no rules for shabari regulations no rules and regulations for bhakta kannappa so therefore shraddha is important amaitvam means without any split personality double personality with the pure heart you have to worship the lord that is the condition lord krishna kept here shraddhaya whoever worship me with shraddha i give lot of margin for them choice with regard to rules and regulations when it is nishkama bhakti without that uh, regular shraddha and all even they give bhuri api um, abhaktaha upahrutam without real bhakti inside for god suppose wife uh, loves her husband for his salary monthly salary when he gives a lot of money to her she loves him na she is loving her husband or money money only not husband money is the condition how can it be real love similarly similarly bhaktas who are worshiping bhagwan also keeping some agenda hidden agenda in the mind normally all are arthaarthi bhaktas only maximum people are arthaarthi bhaktas means business bhaktas they want some material benefits therefore that it cannot be a real bhakti that bhakta cannot be a bhakta but a bhakta however much he wears all you know vipudi rudraksha spatika mala or so many insignia of this bhakta vesham he even put also that is not a real bhakti upahrutam abhakta Uh, upahrutam name toshaya kalpate they cannot give me happiness who gave happiness dhruva gave happiness to lord all bhaktas real bhaktas devotees give happiness to the lord but ordinary people who do not have that nishkama bhakti no shraddha they cannot give happiness to bhagavan na toshaya tosha means tushu dhatu happiness giving happiness they cannot uh, give me happiness me tosha ayana kalpate what they offer they offer so many things gandaha sandal dhupaha incense sticks you know fragrant sumana saha lot of flowers some people have habit of collecting lot of flowers and flowers and decorating the lord with lot of flowers like that 
and the people are attracted to that flowers deepaha lot of deepa kindling the deepams lighting the lamps different different lights they put annadyam naivedyam etc lot of prasadam naivedyam they prepare different varieties uh, they prepare kim punaha what is the use of all these things without bhakti they do they cannot give me happiness whatever they offer to me i am not happy however much bhagwan says this how many people are becoming nishkama bhaktas without expecting anything how can we worship swami ni god without expecting anything like that we always compromise with our weaknesses bhagwan is said ananyas chintayanto mam yejana paryupasate without thinking anything they surrender to me i will take care of them i will provide servant i will provide driver i will provide house money children family nice health good health bhagwan said who remember that shloka <laughs> bhagwan says up to here we saw in the last class that's why nishkama bhakti prayer la sarve bhavantu sukhinah sarve santu niramayah sarve bhadrani pashyantu prayer for all people prayer for loka kalyanam loka hitam loka hitam mam karaniyam oh lord let me do some good for the world <coughs> when we wake up immediately we think about our own body our own uh, comforts and our own children family who are useful for me hmm? this is what uh, narrow mindedness if you include the entire universe in your prayer you are a mature bhakta loka kshemam loka kalyanam many beneficiaries must be there in my prayers many beneficiaries beneficiaries not only myself my family my children my grandchildren all must include in that that prayer the day we can do then you are a real bhakta okay na solala krishna solrare next verse 20 say 19 <clears throat> shuchi sambhrut sambharah pragdarbhai kalpita sanah asina pragudargvachet archaya math samukah now how to do puja the mental aspect uh, krishna said now he is telling actual practical puja paddhati now practicals okay <clears throat> mind preparation how it should be when you are doing puja up to 18th verse it is over now practically when you are doing how you have to keep your physical body how you have to offer the puja dravya materials to bhagavan that paddhati is given whoever want to know this paddhati you can note otherwise okay swami i am nishkama bhakta uh, totally surrender to lord and uh, you don't require okay suppose you want to teach to your children grandchildren you may be nishkama bhakta but your children they have to become nishkama bhaktas and uh, we they have to do with the rules and regulations <clears throat> at least you can tell them they do not know how to do na uh, you can tell them shuchi hi first one has to be clean at physical level body level shuchi hi then what sambhruta sambharah prak prak means before going to do puja keep it everything ready what are all required for puja 
ఆఫ్టర్ సిట్టింగ్ అండ్ గెటింగ్ అప్ ఫర్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఫర్ మ్యాచ్ బాక్స్ ఫర్ ఫ్లవర్స్ ఫర్ వాటర్ ఇఫ్ యూ డూ లైక్ దాట్ యు విల్ నాట్ గెట్ కాన్సన్ట్రేషన్ దేర్ ఫోర్ ప్రాక్ సంభృత సంభార మీన్స్ అరేంజింగ్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ వాట్ ఎవర్ ఈజ్ రిక్వైర్డ్ ఫర్ పూజ వి షుడ్ నాట్ సెర్చ్ ఫర్ దోస్ థింగ్స్ వెన్ ఆఫ్టర్ స్టార్టింగ్ ద పూజ మిడిల్ మిడిల్ యూ షుడ్ నాట్ రన్ హియర్ అండ్ దేర్ టు గెట్ ద థింగ్స్ దట్ ఇట్ సెల్ఫ్ ఈజ్ ఎ గ్రేట్ ఆర్ట్ కీపింగ్ ఆల్ పూజా ద్రవ్యం నెక్స్ట్ టు మీ అరేంజింగ్ ప్రాపర్లీ ప్రాక్ సంభృత సంహార ప్రాక్ మీన్స్ బిఫోర్ స్టార్టింగ్ ద పూజ ఐ హ్యావ్ టు బి శుచి దట్ మీన్స్ మై సెల్ఫ్ అండ్ ద పూజ వేర్ ఐఎమ్ డూయింగ్ పూజ అండ్ దట్ డేటీస్ అండ్ ద పూజ రూమ్ అండ్ దట్ ఆసనం ఎవ్రీథింగ్ షుడ్ బి క్లీన్ ధర్భై కల్పిత ఆసన so after keeping everything ready you have to sit where to sit on darbha asanam that munja grass very sharp grass mat is available in many places in pilgrimage centers and all shops they will sell why that munja grass is special because it is very sharp it in, indicates that my buddhi also must be sharp enough that is the reason they use that munja grass darbha darbhai kalpitah made out of kalpitah made out of they weave that you know darbha grass small mat suppose you don't get the darbha grass okay small soft asanam as lord krishna said in bhagavad gita 6th chapter chaila jina kushottaram kusha is not available uh, there kusha word is used here darbha word is used so that darbha if you sit on that darbha you will not uh, uh, be comfortable because it is very sharp upon that you have to put a silken cloth bhagavan didn't uh, mention that here but you have to apply from bhagavad gita okay Re- arranging that asanam then see all the simple things also bhagwan is telling why bhagwan is uh, telling about the asanam you are not supposed to sit down a person who is doing puja he or she should not sit on the floor that is important asinaha sitting and putting asanam then what what for asana munna for sitting asina you sit which direction next question prag udangva udak means here uh, prak means east east is the best direction you have to face the east in front of you there is a deity so deity if you are facing to east deity is facing where west so you are facing the east prag that is the best direction if it is not possible in all houses east direction alone is not possible then second option best option is north facing north is the second preference suppose north side also northern direction also not available not possible what to do and then west is third option west western direction western direction also okay but that is also not possible what to do and last option south <laughs> dakshina okay don't be very very particular some people are very particular when that is not available they become so restless అంటే నిష్కామ పూజ కదా వెళ్ళ పర్వాలే బట్ సకామ పూజ పీపుల్ ఆర్ ఓన్లీ ప్రాక్టీసింగ్ ఫర్ దెమ్ ప్రాక్ ఈస్టర్న్ డైరెక్షన్ ఆర్ ఉదక్ మీన్స్ నార్దర్న్ డైరెక్షన్ అర్చై ఉదక్ వా అర్చై వా మీన్స్ ఆర్ ఏదర్ టూ డైరెక్షన్స్ యూ కెనాట్ సిట్ 
ఏదో వన్ డైరెక్షన్ యూ కెన్ సెట్ దట్స్ వై వా అర్చేత్ పర్సన్ వర్షిప్పర్ డివోటీ హ్యాస్ టు వర్షిప్ మీ వేర్ సముఖ అర్చాయ అర్చా అర్చాయాం హీ హ్యాస్ టు సిట్ అథ హీ హ్యాస్ టు సిట్ ఫేస్ టు ద డేటీ అర్చాయ మీన్స్ ఐడల్ ఐడాల్ ఐడిఓఎల్ విగ్రహం దట్ ఫోటో ఆఫ్ ద లార్డ్ ఫేసింగ్ సమ్ముఖ మీన్స్ ఫేసింగ్ టు వర్డ్స్ దట్ లార్డ్ డైటీ ఐడాల్ భక్త హ్యాస్ టు సిట్ ఇన్ ఫ్రంట్ ఆఫ్ హిమ్ దిస్ ఈజ్ ద రెడీనెస్ నౌ రెడీ దెన్ వాట్ నెక్స్ట్ శ్లోక వాట్ ఆర్ ఆల్ అదర్ థింగ్స్ హీ హ్యాస్ టు డూ ట్వంటీయత్ శ్లోక మదర్చా పాణినా మృజేత్ కలశం ప్రోక్షణీయంచేదుపసాధయేత్ వెన్ యూ కీప్ ఆల్ పూజా ద్రవ్యం నియర్ బై ఫస్ట్ థింగ్ వాట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు డూ ఏ కలశ a pot either silver pot or mud pot or golden pot whatever pot some chimbu like no one pot vessel kalasham kalasham prokshaniyam kalasham means you bring that and you put a coconut and you put water inside and you put some mango leaves and they had put a thread also in temples and all when swami ji sir coming or in temple they put some thread also for that it is very very difficult to do that only priest can do that kalasham prokshaniyam first you have to do prokshanam sprinkling water prokshanam krutanyasaha krutanyasam madarcham అంగన్యాస కృతన్యాస మీన్స్ ఫస్ట్ దట్ వాటర్ ఇన్ ద కలశ దే హ్యావ్ టు డూ చాంటింగ్ ద మంత్ర మంత్ర చాంటింగ్ దట్ కాల్డ్ కాన్సిక్రేషన్ ఆఫ్ దట్ లార్డ్ బిఫోర్ స్టార్టింగ్ ద పూజ యూ హ్యావ్ టు క్లీన్ ఆల్ ద పూజా ద్రవ్యం విత్ వాట్ ఆర్డినరీ వాటర్ యూ షుడ్ నాట్ డూ ప్రోక్షణ విత్ మంత్ర జలం యూ హ్యావ్ టు డూ ప్రోక్షణం దాట్ మంత్ర జలం ఈజ్ ఓన్లీ టు బి యూజ్డ్ ఫర్ ప్రోక్షణం హౌ యూ హ్యావ్ టు డూ ఆఫ్టర్ డూయింగ్ దట్ మంత్ర దట్ మీన్స్ గంగా వాటర్ యూ ఇన్ వోక్ ఇన్ దాట్ అండ్ డూ సర్టన్ మంత్రాస్ కీపింగ్ ద హ్యాండ్ ఆన్ ద కలశ దట్ వాటర్ ఇన్ ద కలశ ఇట్ విల్ బికమ్ అంత పూర్ణో బహి పూర్ణ పూర్ణ కుంభ వివాహ వివార్ణవే అంత శూన్య బహి శూన్య అని మన శ్లోక ఇస్ దేర్ దట్ వే యు హ్యావ్ టు డూ మంత్ర చాంటింగ్ దెన్ దట్ జలం బికమ్ మంత్ర జలం దట్ బి జలం బికమ్ మంత్ర జలం బిఫోర్ డూయింగ్ పూజ ద డైటీ యు హ్యావ్ టు హియర్ అర్చా మీన్స్ కృష్ణ కృష్ణ ఆర్ విష్ణు ఐడల్ అండ్ దేవత అండ్ పూజా ద్రవ్యం ఆల్ షుడ్ బి మృజేత్ మృజేత్ మీన్స్ టు బి క్లీన్డ్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు పాణినా మృజేత్ బై యువర్ విత్ యువర్ హ్యాండ్స్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు క్లీన్ దెమ్ Uh, that is, with hands you have to sprinkle you should not take spoon in anything or some leaves they take and do prokshana with hands also prokshaniyam here kritanyasaha kritanyasam that means uh, you have to do anganyasa after doing anganyasa with that uh, jalam you touch that mantra jalam and you touch your body anga means uh, here um, uh, sikhaye vashat that is also going to come later what uh, nyasa you have to do also is going to say that is um, uh, touching your organs 
ప్యూరిఫైయింగ్ దెమ్ విత్ మంత్ర శిఖాయే వషట్ అంగుష్టాభ్యాం నమ తర్జనీభ్యాం నమ లైక్ దాట్ ఈచ్ లింబ్ ఆఫ్ ద బాడీ దెర్ ఈజ్ ఎ డీటీ సిటింగ్ దేవతాస్ సో యూ హ్యావ్ టు డూ దట్ న్యాస then after purifying your body you have to do consecration of that deity and deities uh, angas that means body limbs also must be uh, you have to touch with the mantra with this water what you have done doing prokshana and let the feet at the hand at the chest at the head all this you have to do yatha యథావత్ ఉపాస ఉపసం సాధయేత్ ద సంస్కార ఉపసాధయేత్ మీన్స్ సంస్కార ప్యూరిఫికేషన్ బై ఏ పర్సన్ హూ ఈజ్ ఎ డివోటీ సాధయేత్ మీన్స్ డూ పూజ సాధయేత్ సంస్కార సాధయేత్ దట్ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో ఏ టైప్ ఆఫ్ పూజ ఇనీషియల్ పూజ cleaning and doing samskara means what purification of that water with mantra your body limbs with mantra and uh, bhagwan's limbs also with mantra mrujet pani na mrujet with hand you have to clean may you prepare yourself also may you prepare yourself with nyasa by touching the limbs of your body lagunyasa mahanyasa before rudram abhishekam they do for each god there is a nyasa vishnu also for shakti also for shiva also like in the nirmalyam they say yesterday's garland you have to take first <laughs> remove that mala నిర్గత మాల ఎస్మాత్ దట్ ఈస్ కాల్ నిర్మాల్యం బాగా వెర్లీ మార్నింగ్ ఇన్ తిరుపతి దేశే నిర్మాల్య సేవ నిర్మాల్య సేవ అని అన్న అర్థం ఎస్టర్డే వాటర్ ఆల్ గార్లెంట్స్ దే పుట్ ఆన్ ద లార్డ్ బాలాజీ దే రిమూవ్ వన్ బై వన్ వన్ బై వన్ వన్ బై వన్ బికాస్ దే పుట్ సో మెనీ గార్లెంట్స్ దే హ్యావ్ టు రిమూవ్ ఈచ్ వన్ సో దట్ ఈస్ కాల్ నిర్మాల్య సేవ అని గార్డెన్ లెస్ అంటే గార్ల్యాండ్ లెస్ నాట్ గార్డెన్ గార్ల్యాండ్ లెస్ కండిషన్ ఆఫ్ భగవాన్ ఈజ్ నిర్మాల్య సేవ దట్ దట్ టైమ్ యూ డూ సేవ దట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో ఏ టైప్ ఆఫ్ సర్వీస్ టు భగవాన్ దెర్ ఫోర్ మృజేత్ మదర్చాం పాణినా మృజేత్ సో దిస్ అర్చన స్టార్టింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ దేర్ ఇట్ సెల్ఫ్ ఫస్ట్ క్లీనింగ్ విత్ ప్రోక్షణం యూ హ్యావ్ టు డూ విత్ వాట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు డూ ప్రోక్షణం నాట్ విత్ ఆర్డినరీ వాటర్ బట్ ఏ వాటర్ ఇన్ ఏ వెసల్ యూ టేక్ విత్ చాంటింగ్ మంత్రాస్ దట్ వాటర్ బికమ్ సో సీక్రెట్ దట్స్ వై వెన్ ఇన్ ద టెంపుల్ దే గివ్ తీర్థం వాటర్ ఓన్లీ వాట్ యూ డూ ఫస్ట్ తీర్థం యూ ఓన్ టేక్ జస్ట్ లైక్ దట్ ఇన్ సిప్ ఇట్ యూ షో టు యువర్ ఐస్ ఫస్ట్ అండ్ యూ సిప్ then you take any little bit of the water is their droplets you touch to your head these are all regular practices you know everything so devata nyasaha angeshu so devata nyasaha angeshu means all those devatas you have to invoke on each limb of your body this is the meaning next verse next page 21 page number 327 tadadhir deva yajanam dravyanyatmanam evacha proksham patrani trinyadbihi సాధయేత్ మే యూ రిఫైన్ సాధయేత్ మే యూ రిఫైన్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ రిఫైన్ వాట్ ఎవర్ యూ యూజ్ ఇన్ ద పూజ 
your clothes your dress and your limbs of the body and uh, all the materials you are using for the lord all of them first you have to refine them now puja sthanam he is ready to do he has done prokshanam now what is the next step padyam samarpayami argyam samarpayami achamaniyam samarpayami you might have heard all these words mantras like in our shoda shopachara puja there are uh, three patrams you have to take three vessels those for children shoda shopachara puja we used to teach in vedic heritage classes they all know how to do shoda shopachara puja each class we call one one student to do puja like that three patram small small cups like you have to take taking after the putting water in that you have two of them water in one valuable things for lord you have to put like cardamom and that alika uh, cardamom means alika and uh, vitti ver and so many sugandha dravyams all you have to put in one cup that is a valuable things argyam it is called argyam means valuable offerings so water has to be collected in the kalasham and the kalasham water has to be uh, um it is it has to become mantra jalam by chanting some mantras after converting that water ordinary water into mantra jalam it becomes ganga water like then you have to do um, prokshanam after prokshanam you have to take tat adbihi deva yajanam deva yajanam means a shrine of that puja room we can say the shrine of that deity kept for puja sake puja mandiram we can say argya means valuable things they have to keep first then uh, padyam water to clean the feet of the lord padyam samarpayami means you are cleaning the feet of the lord achamaniyam samarpayami you are giving water to the lord that means you are putting the water in the cup another cup uh, achamaniyam means to clean the to clean the mouth lord has to clean his mouth hmm. like that you put with a spoon a little bit of droplet of water there hmm. achamaniyam samarpayami that is padyam त्रीणि पात्राणि अद्भिहि मीन्स विथ वाटर्स यू हैव टू कीप रेडी इन फ्रंट ऑफ डैटी द्रव्या आत्मा सो यू हैव टू डू प्रोक्षण क्लीन एंड द श्रैन ऑफ द डैटी एंड युवर सेलफ आलो so you and dravyams are ready for puja proksha you have to supply for everything proksha how na tat adbihi tat means that puja sthanam adbihi by water that mantra jalam is ready in purna kumbha that jalam deva yajanam the shrine proksha then uh, dravyani proksha puja material proksha these are all uh, for uh, your family members children grandchildren ku teach pandradukaga enak theriyadana solla koodadu oh my grandmother knows so much i uh, they have to say uh, so proksha ante uh, sprinkling water proksha with that mantra jalam dravya uh, devaya janam proksha sprinkle that puja room also ద్రవ్యాన్ని ప్రోక్ష ఆల్ పూజా మెటీరియల్ డు ప్రోక్షణం దెన్ ఆత్మానం అప్పి ప్రోక్ష యువర్ సెల్ఫ్ ఆల్సో దట్స్ వై దట్ యూ సి వై హూ ఆర్ ఆల్ డూయింగ్ పూజ దే స్ప్రింకుల్ వాటర్ ఆన్ దేర్ హెడ్ ఆన్ దేర్ హోల్ బాడీ 
and they do protection over all people also who are all there. Mm. Uh, Atmanam here means uh, Satchidananda Atma you should not take oneself. Satchidananda Atma is ever pure. Okay, you have to uh, Atmanam yourself and earth. Atmanam Prokshya Patrani Trini Patrani Adbihi Taihi Taihi Dravyehi Cha Sadhayet Trini Patrani all those three cups you have to fill with those those things. Padyam sik water, argyam, argyam sik valuable things you have to put. Um, haram samar payami, haram you can keep there. And uh, what are all uh, vastram, bhagavan ki you keep it there. And uh, all valuable things. Then um, for uh, sipping water you have to keep another cup. For padyam you can uh, feeding water. Uh, Washing the feet ki vare cup and sipping water ki vare cup veke koda de. Same cup you should not use, the different cup you have to use. Sadhayet means may you refine. Dravyehi cha sadhayet, taihi taihi dravyehi sadhayet. So may you um, do start puja with those uh, dravyams. That means all dravyams must be refined. Then next what abhimantranam. This next shloka. Padyargha chamani artham trini patrani daishikah hrudashirshnathas sikhaya sikhaya Gayatriya cham abhimantrayet. Abhimantrana means three patrams. Padvya patram, argya patram, and achamaniya patram. Three ni patrani. All these three vessels in big, big temples, the patrams will be big. In our house, you cannot keep that big. Small cup you can keep. Padyam arghyanche achamani artham. For the sake of padyam, for the sake of argyam, for the sake of uh, achamaniyam. How many patrams? Three ni patrani. Who has to keep that? Bhatta, worshipper, deishikaha. Uh, people. Uh, so in house, some houses they sit for puja. Wife has to do prepare everything. They don't uh, do any arrangement. Uh, uh, only sitting and uh, everything should be there ready. And, uh, if anything one misses, means shouting the miss, <laughs> misses. <laughs> if any one thing missed, uh, shouting at the misses. Uh, uh, puja. Whoever performing, he or she alone should arrange, really speaking. In big, big places, temples and all, because it is a lot elaborate puja, many people are required. But at home, a devotee, the bhakta, worshipper of the Lord must arrange. Then at the time of arranging each material for the Lord, mind gets a purification refinement as you are doing the mind will be focused on that but you are just sitting everything is arranged by wife eh? then uh, you won't get that bhavana of that that's why self-preparation arrangement is also very good but the dependency is very common hmm? anyhow um, that's why Deishikaha means worshipper. He has to arrange all of them. Then what? Hruda, uh, he has to touch that water uh, to his heart. Chant mantra, touch his heart. That's why when they are doing puja, offering flowers also, taking the flower, bringing to the heart and touching to the heart and offer the flower. Everything they bring to the heart and uh, offer to the Lord. What is that um, intention? Indicates Hrida means uh, 
chant uh, while touching the heart there is a mantra you have to touch your heart with a mantra then sikhaya uh, your sikha also should be touched tuft the mid is tuft even priests are also putting craft hmm? uh, tuft iruka illa nu theriyad sir ella nariya craft mudi vechund irupa enna tuft vechana na mid is girls are not marrying the boys hmm? priest is not uh, um, getting a girl because the tuft uh, that value they do not know hmm? okay anyhow sish sirshnaha means head also he has to that prokshanam water is there he has to touch his heart sikha tuft and head then while doing that what he has to chant gayatriya cha abhimantrayet he has to do tat savitruvari enyam bhargo devasya dhimahi dhiyo yonah prachodayat that's why when you see the pujari touching the his face like this touching the nose means touching the face we are not pandrare what he is doing people do not know all these are said in agama shastra therefore the person who is doing puja in the temples they have to study agama shastra and come to perform the puja in the temple everybody cannot do puja in tamil nadu government they want to uh, bring anyone who can do puja it is uh, to study agama shastra 12 years it will take you know, nobody can all everybody cannot study agama shastra you require some qualification for that uh, so all vipareeta buddhi is going on in politicians they do not know its value that's why they never give sufficient salaries also to the priests how difficult it is if a value therinjadane salary kodaka mudiyo how much they have to study how much anushthanam they have to do a lot of gayatri japam lot of anushthanam morning to till night they have lot of principles they have to follow can you um, um, you know give job for anyone for as a priest na so government should not enter in the field of temples it is not a government job government is not supposed to touch the temples uh, whatever happening in the temples they all should be taken care of by only acharyas shankar acharyas all sadhus sanyasis acharyas who are all having mathams they should take care of that so each temple has got one one acharya puri has to be taken care of by whom no puri shankara acharya shringeri sharada bheetam should be taken care of by shringeri acharya similarly badri badri narayan should be taken care of by badri ashram shankara acharya dwaraka like that other temples also now rama temple also there in ayodhya who should take care of the temple not the government government didn't do puja anything government did, never did any arrangements all that uh, rama janma bhumi uh, seva trust uh, did uh, everything they invited para narendra modi ji narendra modi or government is not involved at all people do not know that they have invited since he is a prime minister of this country uh, raja like uh, he is therefore acharya as govinda giri swami ji uh, who is the president of that you all might have seen him how great uh, acharya he is very knowledgeable so the trust acharyas are there for that temple they have to take care of the temple not the government how much money is coming in hundi in uh, balaji temple also in tirupati there are christians and there are muslims also in that office work where they are doing what is job for them christians and muslims how they can respect the god how they know the rules and regulations 
so the government when they enter now in every temple nearby they construct a lot of uh, guest houses you know people crowd is coming to stay there therefore they destroy trees nearby and they construct you don't find the temple where is the temple you see big big buildings and the temple atmosphere itself the sanctity will go away the puri everything happened in puri jagannath like that only you go to any temple even in tirupati also happening like that all the builders comes and they construct destroy the trees nearby everybody want nearby the temple for bhakta sake they want to construct hotels lodgings and all that's why the government should not involve in that so anyhow i have a little bit deviated what i want to say gayatriya by gayatri tasavitruvarenyam bhargo devasya dhimahi deva yona prajodaya that mantra they have to chant abhimantrayet with that gayatri mantra they have to do uh, abhimantranam next shloka 23 पिंडे वायुवग्नि संशुद्धे हृत्पद्मस्था परम अन्वी जीवकलाध्या सिद्ध भाविता न एक्साक्ट भावना ऑल आर रेडी पूजा मंत्र जलम एवरीथिंग इज रेडी Okay, everything is refined now he has to do what next na that paramatma is here in the individual as jeevatma bhavana he has to bring paramatma he is here in my heart hridaya padmas khrut padmastham pinde pinde means here that gross body Why agni samshuddhe? This uh, physical body you have to purify mm, with what? Vayu. Vayu means with vayu bija mantra. Agni, agni bija mantra. For vayu, yam is the bija mantra. Using that bija mantra is purifying the body. because vayu bija mantra bija is powerful bija like a seed of the tree the whole potentiality of the sea, uh, tree is in within that seed similarly the vayu devata shakti fully yam and the mantra is the bija mantra vayu shakti will be there that means vayu is coming and purifying your whole body yam bija mantra has got lot of potency in it. then for agni ram bija mantra that bija mantras are not given here we should note it ram bija mantra has to be chanted vai agni samshuddhe for purification of this body then what hrutpadmastham o abuddhava who am i in the heart of that jeeva kalam anvi and we means i the paramatma param mama who is supreme paramatma who is subtlest hmm? subtlest subtle gross grosser uh, gross grossest grosser gross subtle subtler subtlest <laughs> and we in her so paramatma within the jeevatma one of the kala jeeva kala means paramatma is in the form of jeevatma in this body that is called part kala means part anvi is ikaranta strilinga anvi shabda anvi jeeva kala i the paramatma who is there as jeevatma in the individual pinde sharire jeeva kala you see now 
Paramatma is there in my Deho Devalayasya Proktaha Sajivaha Kevala Shivahana. Jeeva Kalam Dhyayet Param Mama Dhyayet means what? I, the Supreme Lord, who is in the lotus-like heart of the Jiva individual as Jivatma, upon that uh, one has to do puja. Puja bhavana should come, invoke. invoke. Huh? How jayet nadante Nadante means uh, in Unkara there are five. Normally we say Akara, Ukara, Makara, but here Akara, Ukara, Makara, and Bindu. Bindu next Nada. Therefore, five uh, components are there in Unkara. Of them, Nada is the last one. Akara is gross, Ukara is subtle, and Makara is subtler, and Bindu is the subtlest, and um, Nada is the most and most unveena, subtler than subtlest. Nada Ante means what? Beyond. Beyond Nada, who is there? Nada Bindu Kaladi Namunam. That part, uh, song is there, Appaya Dikshitar song. Dhyayet hmm? Nadante. Nadante means who is beyond Nada. Siddha, mas, um, Siddha Bhavitam. This is the way Gnanis does the uh, puja. Gnanis, how they do? Paramatma is here in my heart. I meditate upon him. He is not different from me. Siddha Bhavita means by great jnanis. How they perform, worship me like that. You also worship me with that bhavana. Next shloka. Tathatma bhutaya pinde vyapte sampujatan mayaha avahyar chadishu stapya nyastangam mam pujaye prapujaye. Now, once invoke this Lord. Who is the Paramatma, all-pervading Paramatma is in the form of Jivatma. That means what? Aikya. Jivatma, Paramatma, Aikya Bhavana. Deho Devalaya. That is why the whole body is a temple. Cleaning the body, keeping the mind also clean, and decorating the body, uh, all with uh, Flowers, Chandan, Vibhuti, etc. is not a makeup. Hmm. Makeup is not for your sake. Paramatma is there in this Devalayam, Sharira Devalayam. I am doing um, puja to him. Like that, Bhavana is there. You won't apply fair and lovely to Bhagavan. <laughs> okay. Cosmetics and all applying, no people, lot of things pop. And the Bhagavan, Daivaman or Bhavan, Irunda, they will apply sandal. Vibhudi, Kunkuma, they apply. What to do? Uh, people, even ladies are also not putting even red bindi nowadays. They put a black dot. Uh, you cannot see on their face that. What is that? You know? Puja to Bhagavan, Puja was nothing, they don't bother all those things. Uh, what uh, people have you know, about the body, they think the body is mine, I am, Hankara. Hankara is there. That is where pride comes before fall. When Vyadhi comes, problems comes, old age comes, they repent. 
what is the use if you look at your body as a temple look at the jiva inside as paramatma and respect him and bring out that's what he says here taya atma bhutaya pinde so that paramatma with atma bhutaya means jivatma bhutaya pinde vyapte sampujya inside you do puja first hmm? then sampujya tanmaya after that you bring out to do avahanam in the idol more in the next class om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnamevavashishyate om shanti 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 hari hi om shri gurubhyo namaha hari hi om